become the world's champion. And you're lucky he's not a racehorse. He'd win the Belmont and the Kentucky Derby also. Because he's our greatest athlete today. And he has a simple name. It's just Mr. Wonderful. And here he comes. You know, Bobby, some people would say just what you just said to everybody out there. That that would be bragging. That that would just be thinking that you're cocky. But you know something? That's exactly right. The truth really hurts. I have earned respect. I deserve respect. I was drafted in the NFL. I was in the College Football Hall of Fame. High school All-American. The greatest athlete to ever come out of the state of Florida. I've earned it. I deserve to be the next World Heavyweight Champion. The difference between you and I is that I'll do anything at any cost to get something I want. I'll even sell my own family down the river for one reason. And that's that world's heavyweight belt. You see something? I left you laying right in the middle of the way. Right then I left you because you thought that I was your friend. <laughs> friend. You're really dumb. Dumb. I've got you running wild right now. You're on the Rangers at the point of no return. You're going to have to be man enough to sign your name to a contract. And then I'm going to be the champion. Mr. One. I can't hear you. Wendor. That's exactly right. What I did to you about a month ago right on TV, man, that was reality. That's what it's all about. You've been standing in my way for over three years. And everybody that comes up to me telling me how great I am. I got a better body than you. All the ladies telling me how good looking I am. Did you see how bad the sweat was perspiring from him when he was talking about Mr. Wonderful? That's a sign of fear, man. He is feared. He is scared to death. The man who made the WWF. What it is today. The only thing the Providence has got any class about is when I step into that town. This is class, baby, and I'm going to be your next world heavyweight champion. Classy Mr. Wonderful, the original. He got the most devastating move in wrestling today. And now you people out there are going to see the power driver. It didn't have to be this way. It didn't have to be this All you had to do, man, was pick up that telephone like a friend, like I always done when you wanted me, I was there. Well, you know, there was a time when they tried to change the original, when they tried to change the formula. But to know something, it didn't work. The old Mr. Wonderful is back. The classic Mr. Wonderful is here. And you know something else? You see what happens when you get too big for your britches. Now you people out there look at the number one man in wrestling today. Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orner. If you look a little down in the mouth this week, any reason for that, Paul? Yeah, there's a reason for it. You know, but it's gotten to the point where well, you know every time that I look at the cameras that another woman leaves her husband for Mr. Wonderful. I've heard. Well, you know something? I'm losing sleep about that. And I, I can't help Maybe that. Maybe you don't want to do it. Listen, you, you can't know. help for the way you look. Exactly. I know I'm not Mr. Wonderful. You know I'm Mr. Wonderful. No. Well, who are we to all those millions of people out there know that I'm Mr. Wonderful? What are our opinions? Millions out there that say you are Mr. Wonderful. You're right. Exactly right. And you know something, Gene? Just to, to bring up some things that's happened to me lately. I was flying from L.A. to New York. I reserved my own first class section. The whole section? Exactly. I have my own bus boys. I have my own waitresses waiting on me. I want to be left alone. And Lord and behold, who comes up and bothers me? Well, the captain of the airplane. What in the Mr. One? Is it okay to take off? Hey, the captain's trying to get your permission. That's right. What are you doing like that? Captain, hey, you call the control tower. They tell you when to take off. Get the guards from exactly. him. Don't bother you. You know, and it just stuff happens on and on and on. I can't even go to an airport. I can't even leave my motel because all the limousines are out there trying 
traffic jam fighting over the speed, he's going to take Mr. Wonderful to wherever he's going. You've got no private life at all. No. It's going to be a nightmare it's for you. It's terrible. It's terrible. Sure. And, and, even in, and even in the Boston Gardens, look at all the legends that's passed through there. Bobby Orr, Larry Bird. Those are really legends. Oh, but the legends above legends is Mr. Wonderful right here. Right here he You're putting yourself in the same category with, with, I'm putting myself with, with the above them. With the, with the koozies. That's it. With the Collins. And you know why? You know why? I'm going to show you the body that women love and the men love here. It's just that simple. Take a look at that. How's that look, huh? You don't think there's You're asking me? Out there. Look at it. I know. Hey, it doesn't take much for you to please you. <laughs> <laughs>